Hi everyone, it's Dawn and I hope you're having a fantastic day. Well, I was just reading an article in Cruise Hive entitled Cruise, Lo Cruise Ships Are Not Petri Dishes. And I agree completely. And so I'm going to dive into some of the points they say in this article and we're going to prove that that saying is completely false. So I might as well touch on all the points they had in the Cruise Hive article. I'll leave a link down below if you want to check out the article itself. The first point we're going to talk about is that the industry has regulated sanitation. So the CDC already has a very, very stringent cleanliness policy and safety protocol policy that the cruise lines operating in the United States have to follow. They're also subject to two inspections, surprise inspections, not, oh, by the way, we're coming on the 30th of October to inspect the, the you know, the celebrity apex. Uh, no, no, they're surprised, they're just random, they're just gonna pop on the ship and inspect it. And every cruise ship gets a rating from up to 100, and the vast, vast majority are 90 to 100%, and they get dinged for very, very little things. Hey, that garbage can didn't have uh, the proper garbage bag in it. It needs a different type of garbage bag. Ding, points off. Very, very, very stringent, stringent, cleanly, you know, cleanliness process. If you're on a cruise ship and you walk around, you will see people wiping down the elevators and the railings and cleaning tables all day long. The crew clean, 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 clean over and over and over again. So, yeah, they already have very stringent cleanliness policies and with what just happened and the way they're going forward, it's going to be even more stringent rules when they reopen. I pointed this out many times, media misinformation. Media loves to have a negative spin because people turn in and there's more clicks on negative spin. Uh, here's an example. I did two uh, two videos on the same cruise ship and I said 10 things I hated about my trip on this ship and then the next video was 10 things I liked on my cruise ship on the same exact cruise ship one after another and the one that says 10 things I hated about it got triple the views that the one I said I liked 10 things I liked about it so the media knows this and the media misinformation spins everything so what's the biggest thing that you hear from the cruise media or anybody, you know, Fox News, everybody out there is that all oh, the norovirus, right? Oh, they're Petri dishes. Look at the norovirus, how big it spreads and it, it, it takes over cruise ships and it's rampant in cruise ships. Well, nothing, nothing can be further than the truth. In fact, cruise ships out of the top 20 things, places you can catch a norovirus from cruise ships is on the bottom of the list by far. Here's a real example in 2019, the most recent example we had, 31 million people cruised during 2019. How many norovirus cases were there on the cruise ships in 2019? There were 1,038 cases, that's all. 31 million cruisers, 1,038 cases. In case you're wondering, that's almost one case for every 30,000 passengers. And if you want to just, let's, let's just take a look and, and, and see any other places that might have it. Well, there were over 40,000 cases in the US alone in schools last year. But we don't ever hear the media saying shut down the schools and close all the schools because they're unfit and unsafe and they're petri dishes. Our school system is petri dishes, right? You never hear that. But they'll always, you hear that all the time. You hear that all the time, misinformation from people who write about things that they really have no idea what they're talking about because they've never, ever been on a cruise before.
Number three talking about is quickly uh, vigilant passengers. Now what they mean by that is a lot of passengers, the minute they walk into a cruise, uh, into their cabin, the cruise has already been cleaned. It's very clean. It smells clean. Everything looks good. And they'll take their disinfectant wipes and they'll wipe down the cabin anyway. So they're doing more cleaning than is absolutely necessary. In fact, there is so much cleaning done on board the cruise ships. Uh, your average cabin, for instance, uh, bathroom, the cabin bathroom, after it's been cleaned with the disinfectants and everything they use, well, your office desk at work has over 400 times more bacteria than you will find in most cruise ship bathrooms. Because think about it on your desk. When was the last time you took everything off your desk and scrubbed it down? Uh, it's probably been years <laughs> for a lot of people. But you put coffee on there, you'll eat at your desk, you'll have a snack at your desk, and you'll just go like this, right? Well, that's not cleaning. There's tons and tons of bacteria left on your desk. So much more, 400 times more than a bathroom on a cruise ship. So it almost means that it's safe to eat in your bathroom on a cruise ship than it is to eat at your desk at work. <laughs> Number four is there, most ships are designed for space and spreading people out. They don't want a ton of people in one area. I've been on Oasis class cruise ships, the largest cruise ships in the world. They hold 6,500 passengers and some points it felt almost like I was alone on the cruise ship. I would, you know, it's like a stroll in the park, you once in a while you'll pass somebody. The only time it ever felt like there were people is when you're at the Broadway show or they're having a special event in a lobby. Other than that, the cruise ship is very huge, very spread out, and there are many deck areas that you can get away on. There's balconies that you can get out on. Hotel rooms, most hotel rooms don't have balconies that you can get out and escape into the fresh air on. So yeah, there's plenty of place to get away from populace and be by yourself and keep yourself safe. So again, better than your average hotel. Number five is innovative and advanced cleaning solutions. So since all this started and people have been looking like hospitals and uh, medical labs have been looking at ways to control the virus and clean the surfaces. Remember, remember when everybody thought it wasn't airborne, it was touch? So they came up with all these cleaning solutions uh, to do. One of the ones that the cruise ships use now is Virox. Virox is one of those cleaning solutions that will kill even the coronavirus and it is proven by laboratories and hospitals. It's used in both to clean the surfaces out and it will clear, clear out the coronavirus in 30 seconds. So every cruise ship has is will be having this now. That's a standard cleaning procedure for all the cruise lines going forward. So they're using medical grade heavy cleaning solutions across the cruise ship all the time. The minute you leave your cabin and somebody else is getting ready to be on board, that solution is going into the cabins and wiping it down and you know, it's safer than, than definitely going to Walmart, safer than almost anywhere else you're going to go because that stuff will clean all the surfaces and it is proven fact that it does. Number six is the staff and the training. They will be going through all new training and procedures to keep people safe. They will be enforcing their stringent rules as well. All the crew members will be wearing face masks. There is, they will be separating and keeping people at certain distances. They're, they won't be overcrowding people in their cabins anymore. They are going to be following some very, very strict guidelines. There's gonna be COVID-19 testing on board. There's gonna be training on board for every single crew member, no matter where they work. There's gonna be special officers on some cruise ships that are only related to the safety protocols of COVID-19. So, I don't know, I just traveled across the country 
drove across from Ontario to British Columbia and back. It was uh, 11 and a half days of driving and I just stayed at a different hotel every night. I guarantee you my cruise ship experience going back will be cleaner than any of the hotels I stayed at along that way. The hotels were clean. They were clean normally, but they weren't clean with all this. They didn't have trained special people on board. They put up a visor, they put up a sign, and they wore a mask. That's the extent of the training for all the members I saw in a hotel. That has, that's basically nothing. But the cruise ships will have special training on board, how to apply certain liquids, how to do stringent cleaning, where you have to clean now, more cleaning protocols, who, what you have to look for in cruise passengers. Is a cruise passenger sneezing and coughing? What are you going to do? All that training will become in effect and they will be watching out for it. So you're gonna have that extra guidance and protection from the cruise staff themselves training, and they will not be afraid to say, hey, that person's sneezing and coughing a lot, we gotta get them isolated now. You know, where a lot of times before a rule breaker may get away with things, I guarantee you rule breakers won't get away with anything going forward. Number seven, advance screening and testing of passengers as well as crew members. Crew members, before they get on the ship, they're gonna to have to be tested, quarantined multiple times, and then they're tested again while they're still in service on the ship. As far as passengers are concerned, again, you're gonna to have to have a test before you get to the ship, they'll test you at the cruise port, and they'll be testing you while you're on the ship. And if you come any signs whatsoever, they're gonna isolate you and test you again until they come up with negative results. So there's a lot more testing that's gonna be involved in the cruise ship than anywhere else. Absolutely anywhere else. There's no testing involved to go to a theme park in Florida. There's no testing involved to get on an airplane. There's no testing involved to stay at a hotel. Anywhere else in the world, there's no testing involved, but there will be on the cruise ships and they will be adhering to it to keep that virus away from the cruise ships and minimize any mitigation they have. So if you're looking for a place that might be the safest place to get with the least amount of chances of anybody having COVID-19, it's gonna be a cruise ship. Name me one other thing in the world that has that much testing before you get there. Nothing, not even your hospital requires you to test before you go in for an operation. So there, how is the cruise ship the Petri dish when they're cleaner and safer and the testing is out there more than almost any other industry in the world? Number eight is mitigation. Uh, basically, if there is a case on board, they're going to isolate those people, they're gonna treat those people, they're going to get those people off the ship at different ports, they're going to look after them wherever they have to go, and they will minimize the risk and spread on the ship no matter what. It's happened where cruise ship passengers who are sailing right now have tested positive, but they've managed to keep it isolated to that one or two people that were in the family or themselves. It has not spread to anybody else. Quick action, quick mitigation, and relax, you know, cut the spread. When all this first started with the cruise ships and cruise ships were told, well, you have to keep everybody on board and you have to do this and you have to do that. Well, everyone was on the ship and they were still learning things. So that's why things spread on the cruise ship so easily. We didn't know what to do. We thought it was touch. Then they thought it was airborne. Nobody had masks, etc., etc., etc. Well, now all that's changed, all that's gone. There are those protocols in place. There are those safety procedures in place. So again, cruise ships, again, will be one of the safest places to go because their evacuation plans and their treatment plans and their mitigation plans are far higher than any other place out there. Number nine is the fact that cruise ships are actually safer than ever. In 10 years, from 2009 to 2019, the cruise industry has expanded 70% capacity. In 10 years, they've almost doubled the amount of people who cruise since 2009. So you would think with all that happening, the occupational health and all the accidents would go along with that. Well, in fact, they've dropped by more than 40%. So they've almost doubled how many people are on board, yet they've 
dropped 40% of the actual accidents on board. It just lets you go know that they learn as they go along. If something happens, they come up with protocols, they come up with safety procedures. If a thing causes sickness, they've come up with protocols and safety procedures to stop that in the future. And they've done really, really well. And that's the perfect example. If you can double your business and cut almost in half any of the accidents at the same time, you're doing something right. And number 10, customer focused care. Now, what, if anyone who, if you've been on a cruise ship before, you know normally you're basically treated like a king and queen, right? You are, whatever you're looking for, will they'll try and help you. They will, you know, your room steward, can you get me this? Yes, I'll get you that. Uh, it, oh, by the way, I forgot to make a dining reservation. Is there any way you can squeeze in my friend with me? Yes, we'll make accommodations for you. They will try their best whenever possible to make you feel like you're having the greatest vacation in the world. You know, uh, more times out of not, you're very happy, then you're upset. Only a few people ever get upset. And usually, I'll be honest, a lot of the times it's their, their personalities that make them get upset, if you know what I mean. People who fly off the handle at the least little bit of thing. Uh, everything has to be exactly perfect. You, you don't know how to roll with the punches. But the cruise industry knows that the customers are who matters. And so, they're not going to put us at risk when they restart. They're not going to want anything to happen to us because it will hurt their own business. They want to make sure everybody is safe. They will have no problem hurting your feelings and kicking you off the cruise ship if you break their protocols. That's not what I'm talking about, but they will indeed protect us and by doing that kicking people off they are protecting us it's the customer service it's the safety involved that you're wanting i i have this an example on this last trip i was just on i was waiting because you had the social distance i'm waiting to check in at a hotel and the person checking in in front of me was sneezing and coughing because they had just caught a cold but how do I know that wasn't COVID? And now I have to go up to that counter ahead of time and the hotel guest person did absolutely nothing. They gave them their room key and they sent them off their way. They didn't even wipe down the counter after that person left. So you can guarantee that customer service and customer safety is gonna be their number one priority on cruise ships when we start. There you go, there's 10 things. like. A lot of people are surprised when I tell them about the norovirus being that low. One in 30,000 people. Come on. Are you really that afraid now to get on a cruise ship for norovirus? Maybe you shouldn't send your kids to school anymore because 40,000 people had it last year in schools. And that's schools. They're not even number one. Hospitals are number one. So maybe you should never, ever go to a hospital ever again. <laughs> so no. Cruise ships are not petri dishes. Cruise ships are probably cleaner and safer than the majority of the places you visit on a daily basis. Let me know what you guys think. Did I dissuade you in any way? Did I change your mind in any way? I hope I did. And uh, well, there you go. If you like this video, please give it a thumbs up. If you want to see more tips, more tricks, more travel vlogs from around the world, hit that subscribe button. Till next time, have yourself a safe, and a great vacation.